In this video, I'll be discussing how you can find the general solution for the equation x to the y equals y to the x. The first topic I'm going to introduce is what is known as the Lambert w function. First, we're going to take a function f of x, which I'll say is just x times e to the x. Then the Lambert w function is going to be the inverse function of this. It's as simple as that. So in other words, we can use the lambda w function to cancel out any functions that look like this. So my reasoning is that you should try to make this equation into this form and then use the lambda w function. And more specifically what you want is to have one variable on one side. So let's try to do that. Well, first of all, let's get one variable on one side. So let's get y on the right side, for instance. Well, then, how could I do that? Well, the best way to do that is just to raise both sides to the 1 over x power. Because if I do that, I get x to the y over x is equal to y. Now I only have y on this side. Now you see we have an e here. We're using the exponential function. So let's get an e on this side. So what I'll do is actually replace x with e to the natural log of x instead. Well that means that I have e to the natural log of x now I'm going to do over x and then multiply it by y. And you'll see y in a second. And then this is equal to y. Now the thing is, is that to get it in this form, I want the thing we're multiplying e on the outside to match what's on the upper hand. But the thing that's on the exponent has a y in it. So I need to move this y over to that side. The way I'll do this is by raising both sides to the negative first power. So I get this equation instead. And then very easily, I can multiply both sides by y to get y times e to the negative natural log of x over x, y, and it's equal to 1. I've sort of abandoned the reasoning that we needed one variable on one side, but you'll see that that'll come back. You see here we have a y, here we have a y. The only difference is that there's a negative natural log of x over x in the top. So the way I can get it in something times e to the something, where these are both the same thing, is just by multiplying both sides by negative natural log of x over x. So I get negative natural log of x over x times y then times e to the negative natural log of x over x, y. And then on the right hand side, which is a 1, multiplied by negative natural log of x over x. Ha! Look at that! One variable on one side. We came back, wrapped it all the way around, we went back to one variable on one side. Now you can see that this right here is the same as this right here. So I can write this using this function. This is just f of negative natural log of x over x, y. Because that's what's there and that's what's there. And then on the right hand side I have negative natural log of x over x. And so the great thing is I can now cancel out this f using the Lambert w function. And so this f goes away, and it doesn't go away on here, but it's fine because we're only using one variable. And so the only thing left to do is solve for y, which isn't very difficult because now we have the equation natural, negative natural log of x over x, y equals w of negative natural log of x over x. It's very easy to solve for y. You just 
multiply both sides by negative x over natural log of x. Multiply that by the Lambert w function. So what we did was we utilized the inverse function of this very specific function. We got it into that form, we used it, and we got our answer. So the Lambert w function in solving exponential equations is actually very useful, especially in ones where they have two variables, both using in the exponents. So the nice challenge question then is to use the Lambert w function to describe power towers, x to the x to the x to the x, so on and so forth. How can you find the value of this power tower? I'll give you a hint. This is described by the recursive sequence x, xn plus 1 is equal to x to the power of xn. You can use this and then the Lambert w function to find out what you want. So hopefully you can see the uses of the Lambert w function now. And that's it. <laughs>